Welcome to the library at the Qingdao University of Technology, your source for information resources with a variety of books, journals, articles, and study spaces to support your education and entertainment. The library is connected via sky bridge to the main teaching building. Students can directly get into the library after the classes. But before entering the library, you need a student ID. You can apply for one at the Campus Student Service Center or Faculty Support Center. The immense building, which is literally in the center of the campus, and can be seen from any other building on campus, is a really important aspect of student life at the university. And by the way, it's not an afterthought as from the interior design, you can feel it that it's not like the books come first and the people come second, it's the people come first. The library is open 12 hours a day, 7 days a week, from term to term. library are the university history museums. The first part is the history of the museum starting from the founding fathers of the university till 2011. Let's have a walk and I'll show you around the first part of the museum. This year, University was celebrating its 70th anniversary, and these are two mascots of University. The red one is Xiaoqin, and the blue one is Xiaoli. And at the entrance to the University, on the right, is the second part of the museum, which covers periods starting from 2012 till nowadays. The library also has meeting rooms, which also can be used for a group work. Students may book out one of the meeting rooms. Uh, your team can reserve study rooms in advance, though. The rooms are equipped with a lot of outlets and a very good Wi-Fi connection and smart displays, which can be used for presentations or like whiteboards. Everything is accessed using your student ID allowing you to benefit from self-service, electronic checkout system and it's okay if you have just started learning Chinese or you don't understand or read any Chinese. The system is bilingual which means that foreign students can switch to English if it's necessary. Apart from this, students can use their student ID cards or student electronic ID cards to put their personal belongings in these cabinets and it's totally for free.
Well, can you guess what place is this? This is the sky bridge, which I talked about at the beginning of the video. Students use this place to study as well. They put here the chairs, their books and other personal belongings that is related to the studies. Thank you for joining me in the tour. I hope it was helpful. You can keep up with live study and work in China by subscribing to my channel. And if you're interested about the particular part about the library, please leave the comments. Thanks. That was Jay Morningstar, signing off.